The month of March of 2022 will go down as one of the most historic months in the history of Xavier's program. On March 5th, it looked like Xavier had maybe regained some momentum by throttling Georgetown here at home at the Cinta Center. But just four days after that, in the first round of the Big East Tournament, they lost at the hands of the Butler Bulldogs on Wednesday at Madison Square Garden. They waited four days, but the selection committee did not put them in the big dance, and it was at that point where Xavier had a choice. They could choose to move into off-season mode to end the season and just move on, or they could choose to pursue a postseason championship. They were nationally invited to the NIT, and that is exactly what they chose to do. They chose to play. Two days after the seeding of the NIT field, they played Cleveland State, once again, here at home at Cintas. They won, but 13 hours after that win, it was announced that Travis Steele and Xavier were parting ways, and Jonas Hayes was taking over as head coach of the program. Xavier beat Florida, and they rallied to come from behind to beat Vanderbilt and to carry some momentum into Madison Square Garden. Back to Midtown Manhattan, the Musketeers went. And oh, by the way, during all of that, it was announced that Sean Miller would be coming back to Xavier to take over as head coach of the program. Xavier went back to Madison Square Garden where on Tuesday night, in front of a very pro Bonnie crowd, just 20 days after that debacle against Butler, wearing those same gray uniforms, Xavier beat St. Bonaventure to advance to the NIT championship game. In that game on Thursday night at MSG, Xavier, by the slimmest of margins, beat Texas A&M behind a fantastic performance from Jack Nungy and, of course, the NIT's most outstanding player, Colby Jones. Xavier finished with 23 wins on the season. That's tied for third most in the Big East, tied with Creighton and Connecticut. And it also gave Xavier their second NIT championship in school history, their first since 1958, and what could potentially be the final NIT title game played at Madison Square Garden, where the NIT has been played since 1938. There were so many times during this postseason run when Xavier could have called it quits. They could have mailed it in. They could have just said they were done. They watched their senior leader, Paul Scruggs, tear his ACL. His career in a Xavier uniform, his collegiate career, ended. They saw a coaching change happen. And even in the individual games, they had to rally to come from behind to keep this run moving forward. But they faced the adversity head on. And that says a lot about this group of student athletes. They were challenged and they responded to it. They faced the adversity, and they overcame it. And that was the theme from interim head coach Jonas Hayes during this entire run. After the NIT championship game, Jonas Hayes said, it's amazing what can be accomplished when you have a true belief that great things are possible. Great things are possible for these Musketeers, and the future is very bright on Victory Parkway.